Microsoft uncovers Russian influence operations targeting U.S. elections. What's the plan? Stay tuned. The MSP Dispatch for the latest updates. In a story from Reuters.com, Microsoft has found Russian influence operations targeting the U.S. elections. Microsoft reported that Russian efforts to influence the U.S. presidential elections has started, though less aggressively than before. Russian-linked accounts are spreading divisive content criticizing U.S. support for Ukraine. And despite Kremlin's denial of involvement, Microsoft warns of potential escalation in the following months. About 70 Russian-related groups are involved with one notably connected to Russia's presidential administration. These disinformation campaigns use overt and covert tactics, spreading false narratives that gain traction among U.S. audiences. Microsoft also noticed increased hacking activity by Russian group targeting U.S. political figures and policy circles. And despite concerns about AI-driven manipulation, simpler digital forgeries are more prevalent, particularly in audio. The researchers also observed that AI-generated content from nation-states generally received limited attention on social media and rarely misleads people, indicating simpler AI manipulations have greater impact than complex ones. Jason, if you are going to spread disinformation campaigns, what are your thoughts on AI? What are your thoughts on state-run and organized entities and is this even a problem? Is this, are, are we, am I just, am I just talking, am I, am I talking about something nervous and the sky is falling, but nothing's really happening? What are your thoughts on this? I mean, we saw, we saw this last election, I'm almost positive, right? Like the, so the problem that AI brings to all of this is one of scale, right? So there, it is a hundred percent the case that all of this stuff existed and disinformation such as this has always existed. However, you no longer need an army of propagandists at the backside of it, right? You just train up your AI model model on, you know, whatever anti-candidate rhetoric you want and just aim it at the post and let it do it, do its thing. And now you have disinformation as a service. Like that's a new business idea for us. We should totally just do this. <laughs> we have actually covered that here on MSB dispatch where not only is there uh, script kitties as, as a service, and I'm not joking about that. It escalated to the con- combination of everything from the uh, call centers, uh, which is a hacking campaign execution uh, to to grab the information, the the hacking scripts themselves, the executors of the hacking scripts, which means you don't have to have your own or purchase them from here. You could, they could actually develop some specifically for you that can then be used by these call centers. Uh, Hacking as a service is now a completely modular genre that is terrifying. And what you're saying is that you could almost bypass all of this and use AI to spin up those drones, armies and armies of drones to do exactly what you're trying to accomplish. Yep. That's what you're saying. Okay. Um, you have triggered my anxiety at an entirely new level. Um, and there's nothing that was supposed to go in that direction. You were supposed yeah. to, you, you were supposed to say, Tony, everything's great. It, it's, this is, this is, this is just empty threats. There's really nothing no. happening. Just wait till the deep fakes get better. Then, like we, you know, our ability to discern what's real and what's fake is going to get very, very difficult. What is the solution for this? I mean, I, I, I recognize that there is an entanglement in data to reality, and there's reference points. Um, but at the end of the day, is there a very clear and specific digital Ebola <laughs> that we can look at and identify and say? absolutely not. Let's stay away from this. Is there a solution for this that you can foresee now? You've got 30 seconds, solve the problems of the world, go. Be skeptical, (laughs) right? Like, you know, it's interesting enough that when the Kate Middleton, is that her name? The, the princess lady over there in, uh, I'm trying to, I'm I'm trying to touch you to make sure that you're actually real. I don't know. She she posts (laughs) this, this picture that they Photoshop and literally how many thousands of man hours went into debunking that, right? Like apply that to stuff that actually matters. I, I, okay. So as one individual, that spent at least 300 man hours, like really criticizing those, running them through my own. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm just kidding. I, I'm not decrypting. I was totally looking at this. I'm like, what, what is the ori- uh, origination yeah. point? Um, mm. uh, what is from a campaign perspective, what is something that someone can do to prevent the um, 
an administration that's outside of the United States uh, to, to uh, let's say, skew you into their direction? Is there something, so you're saying be skeptical. Are you talking about just with yeah. email? No, I mean, with everything, right? Like the, the one thing that, you know, so far we don't have AIs that can be 3D. You know, you, you joked about trying to touch me. I guess you're over there in this the camera that I'm on now. Uh, you joked about it, but the reality of it is, is that the way you can debunk most of this stuff is firsthand accounts, right? Like people are at these events, right? So if there weren't people there to firsthand account and firsthand basically say they were there, and if they're not credible sources, then I'm really skeptical about whether it actually happened or not. To everyone out there, thank you so much for tuning in. If you found this story eye-opening, catch MSP Dispatch every Tuesday and Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for additional content throughout the week and for more in-depth news coverage. Share your thoughts below and remember to hit subscribe. Thanks a lot, everyone. Be safe. This has been a broadcast of the MSP Media Network.